Namaste everyone. Today we'll be using state and uh, events features of Haiku and we'll be building this. Namaste again. I've already uh, imported my sketch layers into Haiku here. Uh, if you're not sure, if you don't know how to import these layers, sketch layers into Haiku, I would highly recommend to look into uh, getting started with Haiku video that I've posted earlier. Um, okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, bring all of these layers into stays and align them as I uh, want to. Okay. After we have done this, um, what we're going to do is we're uh, uh, we're, we're going to animate this uh, yellow um, circle from left to right, right? So it will be like a music is being played, and this seeker uh, will move along this line uh, up up to up to the right. And when we hit the stop button, um, the seeker it will stop animating and it will go to the start again. And after that, this stop sign will be replaced. This stop icon will be replaced by a play icon. Okay. I haven't yet uh, brought the play icon to this stage, uh, but uh, we'll do so uh, in a while. So first of all, let's animate this uh, yellow circle. Uh, for that, what we're going to do is we'll be moving straight ahead to 6th second. Uh, let me just zoom in. Uh, okay, so, uh, so I've gone straight to 6th second and I'm going to use my arrow key to bring it to the right must point okay okay now you can see we can see that uh, a line has been formed here um, going straight to make twin right click make twin and click on linear so it will add a linear animation to my uh, to the to the seeker to this yellow uh, circle there so when I hit uh, space so this animates and it goes from left to the right and then it starts again After we're done animating our layer, uh, we're going to add some state names. Uh, for that, we'll move straight ahead to our left panel here. We'll click on this second tab. It's called Insta State Inspector. We're going to hit the plus icon. And let's say we want to make a variable name called pause opacity. And we'll put the value as 1 there you go now what this allows us to do is we can go to this uh, IC underscore stop so this is this particular layer here and in the opacity value we can actually put this variable name right and how that works is it's something similar to the uh, Excel sheet formula that we work with so we'll, we'll start with the equals to sign and then we'll put in the variable name hit enter now if we change the value here to let's say 0.25 here you can see that the opacity has decreased okay let's get it back to one 
all right now we we'll, we we'll, we're going to uh add an accent to our icon to this icon here so what we'll be doing is uh when we hit this icon the animation should stop so right now this animation that we just created earlier it has to stop right if we preview this so when we hit stop it has to stop and go to the beginning okay let's come back to our stays and we're going to select this layer click on this uh, settings icon here and uh, we're going to select edit element accents now here what this tells us to do is so this at the top it is the name of the layer here and what accent we're going to follow meaning what we're going to do with this layer right when when should this event that we're going to write uh, will fire so right now we're going to simply select click we'll leave it as click you can go ahead and check other um, other accents as well for now we're just going to put it in click and here this is where we're allowed to write our action or our function or our event right and what haiku team has allowed us is they have made it easier to simply go ahead and click this plus and choose any of the method right and what we're going to do is we're going to choose the third method here so we'll select this and what this is telling is uh, going to get the default timeline here and it will go and stop right it will stop the animation and here where it is written ms we have to pass a parameter and what this generally is is um it is it it whatever value we put in here let's say if we put in zero it will stop the animation and take the uh, layer to the first frame to the uh, zero uh, zero second time frame okay after we've done this we're gonna hit done and now if we preview our animation here and hit the stop sign so as you can see it stopped and the animation went to the left to the starting position so if we see that again there you go Now what we'll also be doing is uh, we'll be changing the opacity of this layer. So what we'll be doing is we'll be as soon as we hit the stop sign here, as soon as we hit the stop sign here, we'll stop the animation as it is now and also this stop icon should be hidden should get hidden should hide away and it should be replaced by the play icon right so that we can start playing this again okay now for that first of all is we're going to make this layer invisible after we hit stop and for that we're going to hit on edit element action and we're going to add a new method here and it's called change state and in the change state method we're going to put uh, pause opacity as our state name so remember this variable that we defined earlier and in the value we're going to hit zero so that it sets the opacity value of this layer of this layer into zero so when we press done and when we preview it okay there you go now we're going to bring in our play icon and we'll uh, animate accordingly 
so let me bring this play icon here and we're going to place this right underneath our stop icon the play icon um, so remember the position of IC underscore stop here it's 243 and 252 for Y value we're going to expand this so X position is 243 and Y position is 252 okay and we also have something called um, the Z index value here and we can actually uh, manipulate the Z index value which will change the uh, hierarchy of the value of the uh, layers let's skip the Z index value of IC underscore stop to something like 10 so that it is at the top of our play icon layer here Z index is 5 here let's say let's keep it at 9 so that it is still underneath our uh, stop icon and we also want to change the opacity value for here for the play icon to 0 at first um, we can actually use the state inspector here and so that we can change it later in our action in the event that we add so that is why we're going to add a variable here let's call it play opacity and put the initial value to zero now here we're going to insert the uh, variable play opacity to enter and it's set to zero all right uh, so after we're going to add one more action here edit element action and we will um, add a change state action uh, that will bring the play opacity to one hit done Pre preview okay so that brought our that brought in our um, play icon to uh, and that that changed the opacity of our play icon to one now what we want to do is after we hit this icon the play icon it should start animating again okay for that we're going to the IC underscore play here and when we hit the flash icon here the same window pops up so this one is for IC underscore play actions and we're going to add an event that is go to and play and the play should start from zero again get done let's preview it hit stop and we hit the play icon well nothing happens it is because the stop icon is still present above this play icon we have only changed the opacity so that stop icon is actually blocking the play icon here um, so that is why we need to change the z index value to something that is greater than the z index of ic underscore stop layer for that we're going back to our state inspector hit plus icon and we'll add a new variable um, let's call it let's call it play z index sorry play z index and the value is at the initial the initial value is 9 so that at the start is still underneath our stop icon equals to play z index
Netflix. Yeah. And so in the stop accents, we're going to add a new we're going to add a new accent called chin state and we're going to set the plazer index value to 11 so that it stays above the stop icon hit done now if we preview this hit stop and take hit play it will start playing again now same thing with the play icon we need to after we hit play the uh, it should go back to being hidden and the stop icons would come above but for that we're going to hit the plus icon here again and we will be changing the uh, Op its opacity to zero so if the plus icon change state state name is play opacity and the value which is zero and we're going to add one more change state that would tick the um, jet index of the play icon back to 9 and also we'll want to bring the pause opacity back to 1 so done and preview this there you go and after we have built our interaction animation uh, all we need to do is click on the publish button here and it will give us a share URL and if we click on it it will open up our uh, animation that we just created and if we click on the plus in the stop button here it will stop the animation and if we hit the play icon it will start playing it again and we can get the code by pressing the get the code button here and depending upon the application that we want to use it in we can grab the code and follow the instructions and embed this particular uh, interaction in our own application so that's it for today um, uh, I had quite a fun time making this video and actually playing around with the states feature of the Haiku application if you have any feedback do let me know um, I'll see you next time take care guys cheers